Hello there my friends, this is a boy and his dog and welcome to Retro Edition where I continue my mission to play and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's video we rank all 6 games on the Gremlin Collection 1 cart and then I'll share my final thoughts on the cart as a whole at the end. So, without further ado, let's get started. At number 6 is Premiership Manager 97. We're expecting something else. <laughs> I just can't get into this game. Being football is bad enough, but worse than that, it's actually managing football. It's good if you like that sort of thing, but I, as I have firmly found out, do not. At number 5 is Actual Soccer. I actually enjoyed this much more than I thought I would. Not sensible soccer levels, you understand, but it didn't physically hurt me to play. That being said, it's still football, and I'd still rather be playing something else. At number four is Zool. If I'm honest, when I heard this was on the car, I made an assumption this would be my favourite game in the collection. And I was surprised how different it feels to the Amiga version, with the pros and cons that come with that too. Fun to begin with, but frustrations begin to take over the further you get into the game. At number 3 is Brainbender. At first I thought this game a bit satanic, but once I got in the groove, I really couldn't stop myself picking it up again and again to get that little bit further. At number 2 is Utopia. This game is a nice, slow, stoner title where you can sit back and chill after you've got your head around the many icons, menus and options, of course. And at number one is Hardcore 4x4. I know this game is far from perfect, but it's the most fun I've had on this collection and the game I've gone back to the most often. So I'd be lying if I said it was anything else. Overall, I did enjoy this car, but understand it could definitely be acquired taste, as there's only six titles. Leaving the football games out of it, I still got a lot of time from the remaining games. Utopia is a rather open-ended, and Brainbender is a stiff challenge. Though this definitely won't go down in my books as a stellar car, there's still enough fun to be had to not be totally written off. So what do you think of this collection, and how would you rank the games? And if you've made it here to the end of the video, thank you very much for joining me. Please leave a thumbs up or a comment if you would like. Either way, I'm just chuffed you poked your head in the door to take a gander. As always, I hope you have an awesome day my friends. And until next time, be seeing you.